Wow. You, 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 you are nothing short of an extremely interesting and, and controversial human being. But I, I, I appreciate your honesty and your, your candor. Like I said, I could talk to you all day. Um, and you truly are an open book because I didn't expect you to go into that much detail um, when I asked the question. So thanks for, for answering. If you don't mind, can I can I ask you one more question before I let you go? What, what, what is this when you did have your, your church open? You you did you have a twerking contest up in your church? I mean, many people do praise dancing. But I ain't never seen a church that has a, a twerking contest. It was not a twerking contest. My church had a gymnasium on the building. And we would have parties all playing in, in the uh, gym. We would do show. <laughs> Excuse me. We would do blues shows in the gymnasium. We would do wrestling matches in the gym. And this particular day, we were just dancing. People were just dancing and having a good time. And all the women right now, they twerking. And somebody videotaping a group of women twerking and sent it to somebody and it was all over social media so it wasn't a twerking contest and uh, if we had one had I had a twerking com contest I wouldn't have had a problem with it I said again you are a very very uh, interesting and fascinating human being I, I, I thank you for giving me this time Pastor, and and you know, I, I I I look forward to putting this interview out there and seeing you know let, because at the end of the day, you do something that many church folks don't do, and I'll give you this: you are who you say you are. You don't pretend to be holier than thou. You live your truth. And I think that um, one of the things that keeps a lot of people out of the church mm -hmm. is they find people who are holy rollers. And every time you see them, they, they, they are quoting a scripture. They find mm -hmm. them to be very hypocritical and phony, to say the least. Um, I don't think anybody can ever accuse you of being phony. Um, but with that being said, I thank you for your time, and uh, I look forward. Well, I'll, give, I'll give you a few more minutes. Uh, then I gotta give me something to eat. You know, I, you know, I had a heart attack a few months ago. Uh, I had a stroke last year, uh, but God is good, and God is keeping me around for an assignment. And I've, I've asked God, I became the custom pastor in December of 2017. It's made my name known all over the country and even overseas. And I, I, I challenge God. Why? Why me? And why the cussing pastor? And God brought to, my, to mind a story that you can read in the Bible of the disciples on the ship with the fishing nets. You remember that, don't you? I do. You remember they had been fishing all day. 
and they hadn't called anything. And Jesus came on board the ship. And they wanted to know, Jesus, we, we've been fishing all day. And we ain't caught nothing. Jesus said, cast your nets on the other side. Same boat. Same wall. But they took those same nets and put it on the other side of the ship. And they had more fish than they could use. Brother Perez, I'm just a fisher of men. I wish I could play my, my rap song. Did you hear it, Perez? I can't hear it. What, are you playing it? We can't hear it, brother. Yeah, okay. I got a song called Future of Men. I've wrote about five, five different songs. But you can't catch them. You can't clean a fish till you catch them. And the the organized church, as we know it, has been using the wrong bait. We've been of the mindset, man, that you got to be holier than thou. You got to fall out. You got to run. You got to speak in tongues, all of that. And that closes the door on the, on the man that's been out there. He's been a drug addict. He's been a drug dealer. He's been the burglar. He's been the abuser. But here he is. And he wants to change his life. Don't want to burglarize no more. He don't want to beat his children and his wife no more. He's not dressed like the other folk at the church. And all you want to do when he get there is hoop and holler. You're not speaking to him. And you're not speaking to the ills of his life, brother. I get so many people and young people in my inbox, especially on Instagram, that I give a word to, brother, that no matter who you are and where you are in life, God loves you. If you're the homosexual, God loves you. If you're the dope man, God loves you. And there is room at the cross for each and one of us. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all unfit vessels. But this world, and, and, and when I go out on, and I've been on a tour, I call it bullshit from the pulpit. One, the dance music, we stopped the dance music, and I just talked to you. I ain't taking over my Bible and earn your books. And, no, 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 no. Let me talk to you. Why do you feel the way that you feel about life? Why are you facing suicidal thoughts? Somebody has told you they've cursed you and told you you ain't nobody, you ain't gonna never be nobody. You might as well, and Satan has come and visited you in your mind and told you, well, take life, you might as well die. 
man, and, and I talked to that brother and said, man, I've been everywhere you. I've been depressed. I've been just. I've been broke. I've been without a car. I can't remember not having a woman, but uh, I, 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 I've been all these places. And if God was good enough to heal me and save me, what can we do for you? What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.